Hi, right, everyone. Let me go through the practice question um, that I gave you in class today, September 5th, in preparation for the first exam, which will be on Thursday, September 12th. So you all have the uh, sheet of paper with the practice question. As I indicated, all of the questions will be in this format, um, a short case uh, four potential answers and a short little box where you're supposed to write in the rationale. So let me go over this question. Um, consider the case discussion from August 29th. It's when we talked about the case of Jean, the soccer player, injures her foot, goes to an urgent care clinic, reveals that she's pregnant, and we had a discussion about that, and HIPAA was discussed. So in bold, which of the following may be a HIPAA violation. Um, so that's the question, right? Um, and so this is an open note exam and it's a good idea. My recommendation is to, first of all, make sure you understand what the question is asking. Underline or highlight, like I just did, um, what's important in the stem. The stem is essentially the opening part, the case, the question, as well as the root, all of the potential answers. So underline and, uh, excuse me, underline and highlight those things. I'm gonna see if I can use my marker here to do this. Um, and I might just write. Um, so let's go through it. First of all, you had to understand what it says. What's a hip violation? And what I would do, uh, what I would recommend, and let me stop sharing this and share something with you, um, is um, I'm going to go to our Blackboard site. Um, here's where we discuss the case, August 29th. Here's the notes from class. We spoke about HIPAA a little bit, and here's the notes. It, the main part of HIPAA is the privacy rule, but it distinguishes between and really is about privacy, confidentiality, and security for protected health information. So this is the essence of HIPAA, privacy and confidentiality for protected health information. Let's go back to the question. Um, and... Um, Okay, so let me write again if I can. For A, your grandfather needs his medication refilled for his depression and asks you to pick it up this evening from the pharmacy. Is that a HIPAA violation? Talk about a few things. Privacy, confidentiality for protected health information. Well, your grandfather asks you to pick it up. So there's a request made, a request made, and um, it doesn't involve a, this is something we didn't discuss, but it doesn't involve a healthcare provider. It's simply a request to pick it up. Um, and therefore it's not necessarily private or confidential if he's just asking you to pick up the medication. B, the hospital billing staff would like to discuss your medical bill with your mother. She can only reach, be reached on the phone and you agree to call her. Key thing, you agree to call your mother. They requested, but you're the one who initiates the call. That is not a violation of protected health information. Um, and uh, because it doesn't fall into the category of really going against privacy or confidentiality. C, you drive your roommate to the emergency department while you were in the waiting room. You drive your roommate to the, while you're in the waiting room and your friend is having blood drawn. That's a poorly composed sentence. I apologize for that. While you're in the waiting room and your friend is having blood drawn, a triage nurse mentions to you that your friend has been in the ED twice in the past month with similar issues. Let me annotate this. A triage nurse, a staff, mentions to you that your friend, who is getting their lab drawn, 
has been in the ED, has been a patient in the past month with similar issues. Is that, is that a potential violation of privacy and confidentiality? Well, it's not so much a violation of privacy because it's not about the person, um, but it's not something unique about the person. But it seems like that information absolutely was confidential. It was a visit and twice in the past month. And this is the same thing. I'm sorry, this is the most important part, similar issues. Um, and there was no reason for the triage nurse to mention it to you. There's nothing in that statement that said you needed to know for that. So that was unnecessary. Let's go to D, at the urgent care clinic, the treating physician explained the severity of Jean's foot injury to her. When a nurse walks into the exam room, locate an instrument, stays one minute, to find it and retrieve it, and then leaves. The physician keeps speaking the entire time while this nurse is trying to find some sort of item. So potentially you can assume that the nurse heard what was happening about Jean's foot injury. Is this a potential violation? Well, it's probably inappropriate. Um, it, we don't know if it's protected health information or not, because um, uh, we don't exactly know what the physician was saying. The nurse also works in the urgent care clinic. And so even though she might not be um, in the actual case, she could have been doing something else. She is part of that entity. And so um, whether it's the confidentiality between the physician and Jean about the foot injury, um, there might be others who need to know about it, even though she was sort of wandering in and out. So that's questionable. And if it's questionable, it's not going to be a violation. So we're going to have to go with C on this one. Now, the rationale is important. Um, as I said in class, you get one point for this, you get another point for the rationale. What's your rationale? Well, the rationale that we have discussed here, taken from the notes, oh my gosh, my phone is ringing, has to connect to the question, which is a HIPAA violation. And therefore, you have to be able to mention confidentiality. And if confidentiality is not in here, then it is a no-go. So there has to be some, and it could be confidential. It doesn't have to be, it has to be very close to this. And so it's asking specifically. But you have to get to the point. You can't just say, well, the nurse shouldn't have done it. Um, you have to connect it because this really is the ethics issue. And so you're always going to have to look for the ethics issue and put it in here. Okay, so I hope this helps. My drawing is a little bit of a disaster, um, but uh, certainly reach out with any questions um, as we move ahead. Thanks very much.